This guy beat Uber and turned his ride-sharing company into a super app. Anthony Tan was disgusted by the tax industry in his home country of Malaysia. Filthy cars and unsafe conditions for women birthed his idea for a version of Uber designed specifically for Southeast Asia. Grab became an instant hit for transportation. Its local, its laser focus on the local market made it more successful than Uber. So much, in fact, that Uber was forced to sell its South Asian operations to Grab. But what made Grab work so well was not just rides. Ride sharing is a tough business with thin margins, so Anthony expanded his app into way more services, from food and package delivery to becoming a digital bank and insurance platform. Grab is now a super app valued at over $12 billion. Anthony's success is a great example of how a business that works well in the US can be emulated overseas and win by specializing in local culture. Uber has sold most of its international ventures in regions like China, Russia, and the Middle East. Uber's recent Q4 earnings call sent its stock rising 30% on the year so far.